Hello again. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to convert an integer value to a float value using a macro in Easy Builder Pro. So let's get started. First thing we want to do is open an instance of Easy Builder Pro. Uh, create some data entry points and uh, so I'm gonna make our data entry LW1 and uh, our result will be in uh, LW2 and we need to change the data format to a 32-bit float and we'll give it a decimal point there. So now we want to go to the uh, project tab and create a macro. Uh, so we want to uh, define an unsigned integer and float and we'll call this uh, value 1 make it int and here we need our float value 1 and we need a temp object. Okay, the first thing we need to do is go ahead and uh, get our data into the macro. So we'll do a get data and we want to put it in integer value 1 and our read address is LW1 data count of 1 and we want to, let's see, we want to take this equals this divided by 10 and then uh, we want to move our integer value into our temp register And then we want to take uh, let's add another one of these in here so this will equal our temp register divided by 10 again and last but not least we want to write that value into our display into our display register get a set data Now uh, this already knows that this is a 32-bit uh, 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 floating point decimal value. So even though we're we're uh, doing a write length of one, it's going to still occupy two registers. So uh, save and compile that. No errors. Do a simulation. So I enter in our integer value and ah, oh, it would help if the uh, execute if the macro would execute. So 
we enter our integer value and of course we get a floating point decimal value out of it. Thank you for watching and be sure to come back and see more of our short videos.